Smallholder farmers say access to climate information bearing fruit. A visiting Tanzanian delegation on Wednesday toured Buggers are a district where they interacted with smallholder farmers who are using climate information to inform their day-to-day -day decisions on their agriculture activities. The group was in Rwanda on a two-day study tour during which they visited farmers and Gashira sector in Bugazara to witness firsthand the impact of weather-related information on farming activities. A four-year project dubbed Climate Services for Agriculture that's being implemented by Collaboration International Center for Tropical Agriculture, CIAT, in partnership with the Ministry of Agriculture and Animal Resources, is helping farmers to use participatory integrated climate services for agriculture PIXA, information via their phones to make key farming decisions. The system is backed by Rwanda Meteorological Agency ensuring that smallholder farmers access real-time climate-related information as part of broader efforts to build resilience to climate change. Harold Lima, the market system manager at Tanzania's Agricultural Markets Development Trust, AMDT, said the trip was beneficial to the Tanzanian delegation and they would use what they learned here to help boost agricultural produce back home. In Tanzania, smallholder farmers have no access to reliable weather information and this often leads to losses. But we are here to learn and we were impressed with the way Rwandan farmers do not only have access to such critical information but also use it to impact their agricultural activities, said Lima. He added, we want to see how Tanzania can collaborate with Rwanda in terms of transfer of knowledge and information and market for produce. We are now going to share what we learned here with farmers and the government of Tanzania. Through the project, farmers are empowered on how to manage risk and adapt to changing climate by interpreting and making sense of weather information. Over 55,000 farmers from 14 districts across the country have hitherto trained on the use of weather and climate services. It is expected that at least 1 million farmers from all the 30 districts of the country will have learned how to use weather and climate information in their agricultural activities before the project closes shop in 2020. Jean-Pierre hater Jekimana, a farmer in Gashara sector, said his seasonal production has significantly increased since he started using PIXO information. Before I started using PIXA, I would grow crops without taking reference from weather information, and we would struggle with production shortage due to unpredicted heavy rains or drought because we had no idea on crops that can resist during dry or rainy season. But now we grow selected crops depending on what PIXA tells us. That is why our production is on the rise since the day we started making reference to PIXA, he said.